Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're doing fantastic. In this video, I'm gonna explain why I'm getting back together with my ex, so to speak, ClickFunnels. Here we go. This is such a crazy video. I have spent so much time and effort and resources trying to work around ClickFunnels and I just decided this week, you know what, I am wasting time. And my friend who I was talking to the other day, you know, said this line to me which really struck a chord with me and that is, if you don't even have something on your website or blog for people to buy, if you don't have a product or service, then you're a charity, you're not a business. And I was thinking about that for a little bit and I was like, you know what? I have spent so much time and energy and resources trying to work around ClickFunnels with Thrive, with Elementor, with even, uh, what is the other one? Oxygen, there's another one. Like, I am tired of trying to do that, of recreating what's inside of ClickFunnels to do it cheaper, to do it better, because I didn't like some of their functionality. So I went back into ClickFunnels and I was poking around and I was like, you know what? this has actually gotten a lot better. And even as I went to conferences, people had complaints about ClickFunnels. It doesn't capture all the payments, it's glitchy, it's buggy. Well, guess what? They're all buggy. And ClickFunnels has gotten a lot better in the last six months to a year. So I decided to jump back in. And here are a few key reasons why. So I've got my trusty notepad here. Here's why uh, I'm getting back into ClickFunnels. And this is really a key feature um, that is, is hard to replicate in other tools. So that is this, uh, you know, ClickFunnels, it works with WordPress. It works on your own domain. And I'll talk about that more in a second. It, it really integrates with, uh, you know, I, I don't know if it's 100 plus, but it's a lot of different apps. So when it comes down to it, what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to spin up, you know, landing pages. And even in some cases on some of these domains, I've got some ideas for a couple other paid membership only sites and I can do this inside of ClickFunnels. Now, it's not all good with ClickFunnels. So a lot of you right off the bat are gonna go, ClickFunnels is way overpriced for what it is. And you know, I think it's 297 for like the premium membership. The general, it starts at 97. You don't get all of the premium features. You really need this 297 right here to really start to utilize all the analytics, all the email, all the sending. I'm not gonna go into detail. You can check it out on their website. I'll link to everything down below. Um, and a lot of people say, you know, there's so many people out there promoting ClickFunnels because they have a good affiliate program. Well, they do have a good affiliate program, but that's only because they've got an actually great product. And, and here's why, just hang with me here. If, if you wanna use Thrive Themes and go build out and replicate the same functionality for ClickFunnels, that's fine, okay? And you can totally do that. It's gonna take you a lot longer. You, you probably will end up spending more hiring a developer because literally, I'm gonna show you on the computer here in a second. With this plan right here, I got on a 14 day trial and within five minutes, I had a full landing page up and running on my own domain. So check this out. I even tested it on a WordPress site because they've got a WordPress plugin. And that's, you know, any WordPress site, you can download a plugin, you can kind of hot rod it, hook it into your site. It hasn't been updated in four years. So I was really concerned if it would even still work. I plugged it in on one of my sites. It works fantastically. And why that's important, this is very important, is because if you've got a WordPress website that's running any WordPress theme out there, and you're like, okay, I wanna start promoting my ebook, I wanna start promoting you know, a webinar training, a course, whatever. You don't wanna disrupt the technology, the WordPress theme, the plugins, the current setup that you have, okay? 
with the ClickFunnels WordPress plugin, you can have your own page. And I tested this out that's on the website that can have your own custom ClickFunnels landing page, okay? Won't mess up the rest of your site. It just inserts that code into that one page. Looks beautiful. You can swap out the elements that you need. I give them a lot of credit for that because it actually does work. If you want to use your own custom domain, you can do that too. You build the click funnel, okay, and then the other steps behind it. You hook the DNS settings up inside of your, you know, whoever your domain registrar is. I like Namecheap. They're great. They're cheap. I always like to keep the domain name separate from my web host. So that, that I learned an important lesson on that one one time. But anyway, make sure that you do that. But then you can just point it to ClickFunnels and it connects it and you've got your own funnel right there. So now for Facebook ads, you can drive people directly to that website. You've got areas to put in all your tracking pixels, everything you need. It's so simple. It's great. And then of course, they integrate with 100 plus apps. If you want to do webinars through GoToWebinar, if you want to take payments through Stripe, if you want to use some of the other third party, you know, uh, ClickBank or JVZoo or any one of those platforms, it'll still work. Um, so I, I give them a lot of credit for that. When you start to look at, you know, Thrive, Elementor, and Divi, some of these other ones, you might have robust features in some of the other areas. But again, coming back to my initial point, if you don't have a product or service for someone to buy on your website, you're not a business, okay? So the ease of doing this, and, and a lot of people are gonna balk at this 297, but this is nothing when you start to think about the sales. If you've got a $37 product and you can sell 100 of those a month, you're talking about, right? So $3,700 a month, okay? And so that's, that's where this starts to make sense. If you don't have ClickFunnels and you try to do something else, you're gonna spend a lot of money with a developer. Let's say it's $100 an hour, 20 hours. You could spend $2,000 and then you have something that doesn't even work. So anyway, I'm gonna stop droning on here. I'm gonna show you this domain. I spun this up in literally um, like five minutes uh, through one of their templates. So let me transition to the computer here, get out of my YouTube dashboard and go to this. So this is a website domain that I bought. I'm going to be doing some more training for email marketing because I've been doing a lot of cool stuff in the uh, e-commerce arena with email marketing specifically for store owner owners of like abandoned card sequences, drip sequences, automation, segmentation of different customer bases. So I was thinking about this. Let me buy a domain and then set up a, a funnel here. So I set this up inside of ClickFunnels. Look at this. I can replace the logo at the top, the headline, you know, this is a very simple landing page. Uh, but then, you know, I've got some a video explaining what it is. I can do get instant access. You can even have an upsell built in here. You can integrate your payment provider. Uh, you collect all their information. And this just looks beautiful and it was done so quickly. So I, I just, I, you know, I'm having trouble at this point trying to justify some other solution that's custom or home brewed because you know, you're wasting time. And if you're wasting time, there's a, there's a cost benefit of that time. There's a time, you know, so, you know, and even if you try to hire somebody else and save money, you're going to spend more money through custom development and trying to make things work that were never meant to work together. So with this, this is why I'm back on the ClickFunnels train. I, you know, I had had ClickFunnels before, didn't really go anywhere with it, but now I'm in a place where I'm going to start utilizing these different funnels driving traffic and figuring out what works with all of these different things of helping people learn more about e-commerce. That's what this niche is specifically for. And just this is the templatization that I need to swap this out as a marketer, mind you. This is a marketer's perspective. It's just too freaking easy. It's too easy to spin up a landing page on its own domain inside of one of my domains here. I mean, it's just too freaking easy to do this. So the price here, 297, I mean, that is nothing. That's the cost of doing business to run this for all of my businesses, you know, possibly even clients who need landing pages, right? Uh, this would be a great way to do it. And just the breadth of this, of what ClickFunnels can do now, I'm very impressed. Uh, I would highly recommend it, but it's not about me, it's about you. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Do you love ClickFunnels? Do you hate ClickFunnels? Would you never use it? Do you think I'm right about some of my points here? 
Do you think it is worth it, worth that $297 or $97 a month fee? Let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts. But hey, lastly, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.